Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Am I 12 with this hairstyle? First of all, how dare you? Secondly, yes, so glad you asked. It just is what it is, okay? It's getting to that point. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm going on a trip. I'm gonna be gone for just under a month. You guys always ask me to show you what makeup I'm bringing. <laughs> I'm just bombarded with requests. <laughs> Two people asked, so uh, this is for you. This is the makeup I'm gonna be bringing on my trip. I'm leaving out the things that are like obvious things that you guys know I use all the time, like eye primer and my eyebrow stuff and all that. I'm gonna be talking about the things that maybe aren't typically part of my routine. And I have a strategy going. Okay, there's method to my madness. I'm gonna explain everything in immense detail because <sighs> who doesn't enjoy that? Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, let's start with foundation. Every time I go somewhere hot, so we're gonna be traveling kind of around Africa. We're doing Kenya, Tanzania, and South Africa. It's not going to be like unbearably hot while I'm there, but we're going to be spending a lot of time outside in the safari under the sun, you know what I mean? So I wanted something really light. I've been searching for the perfect like tinted moisturizer for decades. <laughs> it's actually been a very long time. I feel like I have a really hard time finding like a good tinted moisturizer that's not actually like a tinted moisturizer that's like a full coverage foundation with like maybe like a drop of hyaluronic acid in it or something that just like only comes in like two colors or whatever. This isn't cruelty free, but it is divine. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. So this is a new one. This is my tinted moisturizer dreams coming true. It's everything I've ever wanted and more. It's so easy to slap on. It's one of those things that you can just kind of like quickly like put on with your hands kind of thing. It does have enough coverage where it's worth wearing on its own. Like if I was doing like a no makeup makeup kind of thing, I would totally feel comfortable wearing this on its own and it wouldn't feel like I'm doing a no makeup makeup with like a full coverage foundation. It does definitely have a tint to it. It's not like a Glossier skin tint kind of situation where like you put it on and you're like, did I just put that on or did I? Did I not put that on? I'm just not sure. Like it has a little bit of coverage where it's gonna actually even out your skin tone a little bit. You'll see it, you'll notice it. It's not that sheer, but it's not even really dipping its toes into like being a more medium coverage. So it's perfect for me. I, I love it. This formula is so beautiful. It's very, very dewy. <laughs> like it's dewier than maybe even I go for sometimes. Not in a bad way at all. Like I love that it's that dewy because I've been mixing it with, you guys have been asking me about this like crazy, you're like, when are you reviewing this? The Fenty Beauty um, new hydrating foundation. So, oh yeah, it's just called Hydrating Longwear Foundation. So many of you guys have been asking me my thoughts on this. I really like it mixed, as with every foundation in the world. It's really, really full coverage for me. And I also feel like it actually looks a little dry on my skin still. Keep in mind, I do have particularly dry skin, but it's perfect when it's mixed with the Laura Mercier one. So this one's a little bit dewier than I would normally go for. This one's a little bit more matte than I would normally go for. So together they just create this beautiful, beautiful time. So I'm gonna be bringing both of these foundations. This one I'm probably gonna be wear wearing predominantly like on its own kind of thing for most of the trip because I just don't wanna spend a ton of time kind of like messing around with makeup. If we are like going out for dinner, we're doing something else, I'm wanting to take like photos or whatever kind of thing, I can pop on this so Kind of what I've been doing is either mixing them just right on my palette and going in with them like 50-50 mix, or I've been putting this all over my face and then I'll take the Fenty one kind of like in the center of my face where I need a little bit more coverage. So kind of like right here, here, nose, here, and just sort of blending it into the rest of that Laura Mercier one. And it's beautiful. Like they just, they jive really, really well together. I love these in combination with each other. I'm just throwing shit around now. So anyways, those two I will be packing. I picked up the Laura Mercier in the shade 2W1 Natural and the uh, Fenty Beauty in shade 150. I like the colors too. This is gonna come as a surprise and shock to all of you. Unless you're very new here. Like as in this is your first video you've ever watched. <sighs> that Laura Mercier thing has a very lovely all over do. I'm gonna leave the cream products at home. I'm horrified by myself. Normally, I love to travel with creams because first of all, I love cream products, but also because there's no chance of them breaking in transit. And I do not trust <laughs> that my makeup won't break. So uh, 
Normally I don't like to travel with powders and I'm not a huge fan of powder makeup in general, but I just think because I'm going to be layering it over top of that Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer predominantly, I feel like it'll kind of be a nice sort of balance to be going over top with powder products. So for my bronzers and contours kind of thing, I'm gonna be bringing my Fenty Beauty In The Sun bronzer. This one's a little bit more of kind of like a neutral tone and it's quite light. Like it's not super, super pigmented or dark on my skin. So I think this one will be nice for days where like I'm just doing more of a no makeup makeup kind of thing. Just a little bit of tinted moisturizer and brows. So I brought that guy and then I'm also going to be bringing my Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer in. Fantastic. I wanted to bring this because it's a little bit warmer than the Fenty one and it's a little bit more pigmented and a little darker. So I think it'll be nice again for like nights that we're going out or whatever to just be able to sweep a little bit more of that on if I want it to be kind of like a more dramatic bronzer, contour, whatever kind of thing. So first powder product. I do really like this formula because I still feel you like even though it's a powder, it's not particularly dry looking on my skin. It doesn't build up and look cakey. So it's going in the bag. For blush, I'm gonna be bringing my little hourglass, <laughs> my little hourglass ambient lighting edit unlocked palette. So this, my ponytail's just swinging all over the place. This has kind of like a highlight sort of color. This is like a more intense highlight. And then these are both sort of like bronzers on me. This is kind of more of a contour, I guess, but it's still like shimmery. And then there's two little blush colors there. So I'm bringing this as my blush palette just because I like that it's a little bit more versatile. I can kind of tone down the blushes by like dipping back and forth between the bronzer or that color there. So I'm just kind of bringing this in that I like to bring a little palette just in case I want to change up what I'm doing for my face rather than having like one blush and that's the only blush I can wear. <laughs> Sometimes what happens when traveling is you you, you have a blush or whatever that you wear every single day and you think it just looks awesome and it's like no problem. You put it on in the bathroom, you walk outside, you go to work, you're like, fuck yeah, I look so good. You're like looking at yourself in the car mirror, you're like, mm-hmm. And then you go traveling and you're putting on makeup in a different light and you're like, oh God. Is this what I am? <laughs> That's happened to me so many times where I've brought like one blush or one highlight or one bronzer because it's like the one that I use all the time. And then when I get to where I'm going, I try it on and I'm like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> so ever since that happened one too many times for comfort, I like to travel with a little bit more kind of selection and I don't wanna have a bunch of loose shit with me. Like I don't wanna carry like five, six blushes with me. So I like to have kind of this palette. It's nice because again, you can just kind of dip back and forth, create your own little shade. Lovely. For my highlight, Guys, this is crazy. I, I was picking out my powder products for my face and I was like, okay, this is okay. This is going with my whole little strategy here. It's gonna be fine. And then I got to highlight and I was like, but a powder highlight, like, is this going a little overboard? I just didn't want to, I mean, every part of my being, every fiber of my soul wants to wear cream highlight every moment of every day. But again, <laughs> I just don't want it to be something where I'm dealing with like too sticky of a face kind of thing. I feel like I'm gonna be hot. I'm gonna be taking pictures. I just like moist cheeks, you know? I just don't know that a safari is the place for a sticky face. I don't know, it's really hurtful. I'm, I'm bringing a powder highlight is what I'm trying to get at. I decided to go for the Becca formula just because I feel like out of all the powder highlights, it still is a little bit more creamy. It looks a lot more kind of like a sheen rather than like a glitter or chunk. It doesn't have a ton of texture to it. And I also feel like you can kind of apply it quite lightly, but it's also like very intense if you want it to be. So I'm gonna be bringing the Becca highlight in Champagne Pop, old oldie but a goodie, you know? I also like that this one has quite a bit of warmth to it. It has that nice kind of like pink and gold undertone kind of pull to it so I think that that will be really lovely because I'm planning on getting a little bit of a breezy tan just a touch a tan with like you know like I like I have my sunscreen on but like this the sun penetrated anyways sue me <laughs> okay this is a product that I kind of dug out of the uh, depths of my thing. I like to travel with products that are multi-use so that I am packing a lot less for <laughs> The last every trip of my life, I've packed my nude lipstick that I know I'm going to wear and my lip balm that I know I'm going to wear and then a bunch of lipstick options just in case that I have I didn't even look at in my suitcase, frankly. 
Here's my thinking, okay? This is a cream product. However, it's a little bit of a drier formula and it's definitely more of kind of like a matte finish. So I think that even though it's a cream, if I ended up wanting to use it on different parts of my face, I feel like it won't be that bad because it's not super like dewy, glossy kind of thing. But these are the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. So the whole point of these ones is just that you can use them wherever you want sort of thing. So I'm bringing the color Macaroon, which is sort of like a deeper kind of like rosy tone. And then I have the color Blondie here, which is like a kind of true like peachy nude. And then Praline, which is this really beautiful kind of like muted rust orange. It's just like beautiful. I love that shade so much. So I wanted to grab these three shades just so that I could kind of use them on my face as well if I wanted, but also kind of use them to have like a little bit of like a lip color going maybe. I like that this pink one can be kind of sheared out. I mean, they can all be sheared out really beautifully, but I think that would be really nice on the lips or the cheeks. This guy I thought would be kind of nice if I wanted to like warm up my cheeks a little bit more, but didn't really want to go for like a blush color. And then also like, I can wear that just as a lip product or I can mix it with these two to tone them down. And then Praline I thought would be a really beautiful blush color as well if it was kind of sheared out. And I love this one on the lips too. I think it's just like absolutely gorgeous. So I thought that all of those shades would be really nice. And this one, because it's a little bit more blue toned, I think that's kind of nice to have these warmer tones here so that I can warm that up if I want to. So yeah, I'm gonna be bringing those three guys. They're definitely more matte. As I said, they're not going to be anything that's gonna be like really moist on my face. In terms of other quick little lip products, I just wanted things that were going to be pretty quick and easy to apply. So I'm going to be bringing my new Lila B. Who can read this? I'm getting old guys. Lovingly lip tinted lip oil. I ordered these from Revolve. You can get them on Sephora, but I have the colors B Elegant, which is more of a kind of like nude shade. And it's beautiful. It has a slight kind of rose to it, but it's definitely more like on the brown side for me. And then I got the shade Be Romantic. So I like to mix these two actually, but I will wear both of them on their own as well. And that's Be Romantic there. It's just kind of a nice sort of like peachy pink. I like both of these because they're really easy to apply. They don't get like patchy or gross on your lips. Um, and they're just nice and like hydrating and that's it. I love things that I can pop on quickly. Just kind of planning ahead for like more no makeup makeup days kind of thing. I wanted to bring my Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Pencil in the color Fate. This one is like not even worth swatching because you cannot see it at all, but it's right there on my skin. It has the slightest, slightest little like nude pink tint to it. It's not much at all, but I love this guy in lieu of a lip balm when I'm wearing a no makeup makeup. Sometimes when I am trying to go for more of that look, I feel like my foundation is just a little bit too intense to be wearing just a lip balm on its own. So I like to go for this guy that has just that little bit of tint so that it has just, just a little oomph, you know, like it's a little bit something more. So I really, really like that one. I love that formula because it's, I don't even want to call it glossy. I guess it is glossy. It's a little bit glossy, but it wears really, really well. It's not sticky or anything like that, but it just lasts well on the lips. I'm not sure why. And because it's so light, it's really easy to quickly reapply. You don't have to really think about it. Like I wouldn't have to look into a mirror to do it. I love that product. So I'm going to be bringing that. My Bite Agave Plus Lip Balm. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. It's a lip balm, but I always travel with this one. This is the like updated formula. Super creamy, really, really nice and lovely and soft on your lips. That hydrates my lips unlike anything else in this world. I can't get over it. When I'm traveling, in general, my lips are trapped, but when I'm traveling especially, my lips get really, really trapped quick. <laughs> trapped in the chapped life. They get really chapped really fast. Being on the plane, so I'm gonna be bringing that guy. I'm gonna bring two, actually. I'm gonna have one in my makeup bag, I'm gonna have one in my personal bag so that I can apply it on the plane. And everyone will be like, wow, who's that girl with luscious lips? And I'll be like, it's fucking me, bitch. Back to my no makeup makeup days. I wanted to bring the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. This one, it's not my favorite mascara in the world, but it's going to be perfect for what I'm using it for. <laughs> my diabolical plan. I want it for the days. We're gonna be waking up super early doing safari for like 15 days in a row. So I think that there will be days where I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get up and like get pretty. And then probably by like day three, I'll be like, fuck it. And so I'll just be wearing mascara and tinted moisturizer. <laughs> but I like this guy because there's like no clumps whatsoever. It's just very, very straightforward, super plain mascara. It 
doesn't look intense. Again, kind of going back into that issue that I've had with no makeup for fuck's sake. I can't hold on to anything with these slippery claws. It's not anything that looks like makeup really. You know what I mean? I just don't know. There's some mascaras that just look so like thick and intense and dark that like it's just too much. But that one is like perfect. It's just separates your lashes, no clumps. It wears for fucking ever. Like you have to use industrial strength makeup remover to take it off. It's ridiculous, frankly. I don't Love it day to day for that reason because it is so hard to remove, but I think it'll be really nice considering that we're going to be out in the wilderness for hours and hours and hours kind of thing. So I know that I won't have to worry about it like transferring or coming off or anything like that because it is, it's like atomic strength. Like it's lasting through apocalypse. That's why I'm bringing it. Last but not least, my eyeshadow palettes. I'm in slam bringing the safari palette. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm actually not going to bring the safari palette because as much as I love it, I do really like this palette a lot and I love the color story. I know that I probably won't use it. So I'm actually gonna be bringing my Natasha Denona Biba palette. Let's just be real. I know I'm gonna be doing neutrals only. So I will be bringing this guy. Um, I like that it has kind of the range of color so I can do my more day looks over here, minus that black shade. And then I can kind of uh, amp up my makeup for evenings and stuff like that if I want to with these darker shades over here. Couple good shimmers, super chill. I'm debating. I'm putting this one last because like, I'm just still not completely sure if I'm gonna commit to this or not. Does this deserve the suitcase space? I just don't know. The Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, I kind of wanted to bring just because I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like I could get some really nice photos wearing this. Pretty much that's the only reason why I wanna bring it. I do like a lot of the shades in here. I feel like they're really beautiful and like flattering and stuff. If I'm being honest with myself, I feel like I absolutely won't end up wearing it, but dare to dream, okay? I will one day be a successful beauty influencer in that I take makeup and I put it on for photos for the gram. So that's what that's there for. If that, it does in fact happen, which it won't. I can almost guarantee it. I can almost like 99.9% .9 guarantee that it won't be used, but it's there and it's coming with me. That's the makeup I'm packing for my trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was somewhat interesting for you. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. You just let me know. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.